south of our border is a land of enchantment, a land of color and contrast, the Republic of Mexico. Despite 300 years of Spanish rule, Mexico remains essentially Indian. Many of her people still follow a way of life that was centuries old when Cortez first landed on Mexican shores. The marketplace remains the center of village activity. Each village sets aside one day out of the week as market day. Here, the people exchange not only the products of their land and handicraft, but also the latest gossip. Capital and largest city of the Republic is Mexico City, the political and commercial center of the nation. Mexico City is a combination of the old and the new. The city's magnificent broad avenues and busy streets teem with the life of a great metropolis. Her parks and playgrounds are set against a background of more than six centuries of dramatic history, tradition, and romance. Facing the Zocalo, ancient plaza that is the hub of the city, is the National Palace, from which are administered the nation's affairs. Above the palace's central balcony hangs Mexico's Liberty Bell, which on the eve of September 15, 1810, proclaimed Mexico's liberation from Spain. The Palace of Fine Arts, showplace of the Republic, the center of the nation's artistic and cultural life. Near Mexico City are the floating gardens of Xochimilco, islands that once were huge, sod-covered rafts, built by the Aztecs in a vast, shallow lake that in ancient times covered the valley. On these rafts, the people of Montezuma grew food and flowers for their capital city. In time, these floating gardens became anchored to the lake bottom, and today they are a favorite excursion and picnic spot. On Mexico's west coast is Acapulco, once the greatest seaport on the Pacific coast of the Americas. Today, her commercial importance has faded, but crescent beaches, blue-green water, and tropical climate have made Acapulco a resort famous throughout the world. Although Mexico is becoming more and more industrialized, it remains basically an agricultural country. For centuries, her people have derived their living from the soil, often using methods handed down by their ancestors. Mexico's most important crop is corn. Grown almost everywhere in the country, it has always been the staple food of the people. The preparation of the corn is a task familiar to the Mexican housewife. The kernels are first soaked in lime water. Then they are ground on a stone slab called a metate. The sound of the slapping of tortillas, the corn cake that is basic in the Mexican diet, has echoed down through the centuries. Several varieties of excellent coffee beans are grown on Mexico's mountain slopes. While in the warmer regions of the country, Large areas are devoted to the growing of sugar cane. From the Mexican state of Yucatan comes an interesting crop, hennigan. After the long spiked leaves of the plant are cut, they are crushed to extract the fibers. These fibers, dried in the sun, will be made into rope and twine. Mexico is rich in natural resources. From the region around Tampico comes oil, piped to modern refineries. But basic to her expanding industrial economy is the production of steel. In the northern part of the Republic is Monterey, the Pittsburgh of Mexico, 
whose great furnaces are producing an increasing volume of this essential metal. For centuries, one of Mexico's greatest sources of wealth has been silver. Around the town of Pachuca are some of the world's richest silver mines. And this huge mill refines ore in such quantity as to make Mexico one of the world's foremost producers of this precious metal. Tosco, dominated by the architecturally beautiful Borda Church, is in the very heart of the silver country. Here are found some of Mexico's finest silversmiths, the exquisite beauty of their handiwork gaining them worldwide renown. nations can boast handicrafts as highly developed as are those of Mexico. Pottery is made almost everywhere. Each section of the country has its traditional designs, but nowhere perhaps is the product so uniformly fine as in the region around Guadalajara. The tooling of leather is another craft that has been raised to a distinctive art in Mexico. Here, as elsewhere among the country's craftsmen, there exists a tradition of artistic excellence handed down from father to son. Lacquer work was a Mexican handicraft long before the conquest. The technique of its manufacture is extremely exacting. The finished product looks and feels like fine engraving, a genuine work of art. The charm that is Mexico, its picturesque loveliness, is everywhere to be seen. From the Indian planting his crops much as his ancestors did centuries ago, comes an ever-present reminder that Mexico is old among the world's nations. Old, too, is the marketplace, traditionally the social center of every Mexican village. The many native handicrafts, their heritage of beauty and perfection, cherished and preserved by contemporary craftsmen. the floating gardens of Xochimilco, engineering miracle of the ancient Aztec Empire. Against this background, in exciting and colorful contrast, stands a progressive and modern Mexico. The wide and stately boulevards of Mexico City, the Republic's capital and largest metropolis. The roaring furnaces of Monterey, Mexico's great steel center. The South Sea glamour of the beach at Acapulco. Indeed, few nations can surpass in interest and fascination our neighbor to the south, the Republic of Mexico, one of the most colorful nations in this world of ours.